What Chris is doing is a regular tactic called shotgunning. I asked him a simple question earlier, which he didn't answer. What was he, that? he is claiming. What did I not answer? He, I'm giving. I'm, relax, Chris. Yeah, I relax. Know, I will let you know. Okay. okay. Just hold on. Be right, patient. Right, let me, let me, let me build up to it. Yes. Right. If your claim is that when the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, 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 revealed the wahi that he received, the Quran that he received to the people, and they did not preserve it, mm. if that's your claim then on balance of probability, you need to show me how 95% of the world reads uh, uh, Hafs al-Asim mm. and a five-year-old, a three-year-old, even mm. if he's blind, mm. he can correct an imam mm. from a different global uh, location, whether it's America or whether it's Egypt, he can correct him even if he mis makes a mistake of a vowel. Mm. Yes, what I'm illustrating is okay. merely that there are variants. I don't need to explain why they are. That's not in well, that's, that's a ridiculous argument. No, no, my argument is simple. No, no, it's ridiculous. Wait, 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 let me... No, 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 that's ridiculous. Let me, let me, let me, let me, That's ridiculous. Are there variants in the earliest manuscripts that don't conform with the Quran we have today in the that's, that's ridiculous. Wait, listen, that's a ridiculous listen to what I'm saying. No, but that's a ridiculous listen argument. Listen to what I'm saying. So, um, my understanding in scholarship is that there is different Qur'at, which is acceptable readings that all go back to the time of Muhammad. Yes. And they've all been validated with their own isnads. Yes. So based off that, yes. there, there was a time by uh, Ibn uh, Mujahid, I think his name was, mm. who came up with the seven different readings and validated those. Mm. Mm. And then later that was expanded to ten different Qur'an, mm. ten different readings. Mm. But those different Qur'an, according to people like uh, Fadal Soliman mm. of the Bridges Foundation, say about 30% of those actually have difference in meaning of the Qur'an. Mm. And because of that, it's important to understand exactly what those differences are mm. and how that relates to how we understand the preservation of the text. Mm. So my understanding then is, if the Islamic claim is that the Qur'an has been perfectly preserved, yes. then those things cannot be, be, mean different words. And if they do mean different words in some parts, then necessarily the Qur'an hasn't been perfectly preserved. Okay, that's, so that's, that's the claim, right? Yeah, that's the claim. Okay, uh, what is the differences in the Qur'an yeah. that change the uh, foundational meanings of what is being said there? Now that's interesting, because yes. you've slightly changed that a little bit. Because uh, that's actually more in inclined with the Christian claim. No, no, no. Forget. Look, I've asked you a specific. Oh, okay, question. that's fine. That's what I'll answer. So what I'll I'm saying it. to yeah. you is that, for example, yeah. you have things in the Bible which are doctrinal changes, right? Mm. They can change the doctrine completely. Wait, wait. wait. First John, First John five seven, for example. Right. If you have it or you don't have it, it actually changes the entire doctrine. Why? Right. It can if influence you, the doctrine. Now, I'm, can... what I'm asking you is that, first of all, I... those yeah. those differences in Qur'an, right? Where does it change Islam? Okay, so this is a different claim. No, no, it's an important one. So let me just illustrate this. The Quran is said to be perfectly preserved. Yes. No word has changed, no letter yes. has changed, yes. no vowel, no nothing. Yes, yes. But they have though. No. But there's different Qur'an with different vowels. Okay, it? where do you get the information yep. of the different Qur'an being revealed okay. right back to the Prophet Muhammad? From an Islamic foundation, from no, no, the no. foundation. Oh, no. so I'm just telling you how I know about this. Okay, right. so if from our sources. Yeah, from your sources, yeah. So our sources are telling you yeah. That the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, when he was giving the, given the revelation from Gabriel, mm. he said, and recite it to me another way, mm. and another way. Okay, and but he that's was, different. Uh, hold on a second. Okay, sure. And he was given these qiraat, right? The different, no. different ha, aruf, right? Aruf, right. Right, right. right. Uh, different ways of reciting the Quran. I agree. Right. Yeah. Now, I explained to you previously in our previous conversation, yeah. this was done as a mercy okay. to the people who had different dialects. So, for example, if I go up north mm -hmm. and, I, and, and somebody says to me, Hey, Abbas, do you want a lake? Right? Right, what does right. that mean? Right. Do you want a lake? In London, people, a lake would be a body of water. But for a northerner, that would mean, do you want to play? So this is a different dialect. Sure. So to accommodate the different dialects and ensure access to the different tribes of Arabia, the Prophet Muhammad, and this is from our sources. Yeah. Now, the important thing is, mm. this is not something that is being discovered centuries later. Sure. You know, corruption or change. This is a, a dialectal uh, mercy given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala directly from God. Mm. And we believe that those words are preserved. Yes. So just to come back to that, Islamic scholars won't hold that opinion. And the reason they don't hold the opinion is because the hadith that is sahih, that is authentic, talks about two different people who both came from the same area having disagreements about that roof. 
So what? They go, it doesn't, so it's that doesn't mean anything. No, it doesn't mean anything. That's why scholars no, don't no. say it's dialect. So if you're telling me yeah. that there were some companions, maybe, mm -hmm. yep. who recited the Quran wrong, mm -hmm. that's okay. Well, that's well, no, acceptable. No, 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 no. That they, happens. They didn't, no, no. They, they recited it differently. They heard it. Yes. One became very upset with the other and yes. he dragged him to Muhammad and yes. he said, Recite to Muhammad what you said of the yes. Quran in this particular surah. Yes. And he recited it his way. Yes. And the other guys recited it his yes. way. And Muhammad said they are both correct. Yes. But they both came from the same area. So they would have both spoke with the same dialect. This is a, so this is not okay. different dialect. That's a preposterous so, claim now. No, no, no. It is. No, it okay, is. Th so this, okay, so I had this conversation with Muhammad Ajab. It, it is. Confirms. No, no. The, the, the incident is from our records. Yeah, I'm quoting your record. Wait, this right? is I can quote the hadith, by the way, if you want. To I, I, I'm aware of the hadith. Right, so you know it's two people from the same geographical it, it, area. Even then it's irrelevant. I'll tell you why it's so irrelevant. It's I'll tell you why it's irrelevant. Okay. Because who authenticated the correctness of the reading? Okay, so Muhammad does. Prophet Muhammad, peace right. be upon him. Who was Prophet Muhammad? The one who received the revelation. And it came now, in seven different modes. Now, now the, now, yeah. yeah, but the point, the point is this. But not dialects. The point is this. The mm. point is this. Do we have today a preserved copy of the Quran mm. as was revealed by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. According to Muhammad Now, now, now hold, on, hold on a second. Okay. Hafs al-Asim, mm -hmm. which is one of yeah. the readings, the most common one. is the most common one. 95% yeah. of the yeah. world read Hafs al-Asim. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Now, I gave you a very logical and rational example previously. I don't know whether you've forgotten it or not. If Hafs al-Asim, which goes right back to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was not a preserved text, mm -hmm. then today, if, as you claim, manipulation, corruption, or errors had crept in, had crept in, you will never get a unified global reading of a text, mm -hmm. ever. So, Because I'll tell you why. Mm -hmm. You'll never be able to show me an example right. where things were manipulated and corrupted dramatically, mm -hmm. where they spread through a large geographical area mm. and they somehow unified the one reading mm. after centuries. It doesn't happen unless, unless you have an exceptional amount of evidence to provide mm. to show that somehow this mechanism was the mechanism that was used sure. to unify. Mm. You don't have that. So what I would say is this, first of all, actually, according to your own Islamic sources, there was a recension, there was the Uthmanic recension, in which there were different codexes that were present. There was Ubay ibn Kab, he had his own Musaf, his own yes. codex, right? Yes. And his differed compared yes. to what we have yes. today. Yes. Right, so there was a Ijma, there was consensus, yes. given the Uthmanic period, yes. about what should be in the Quran and what shouldn't. Yes, and how did and Uthman go about that? So he evaluated the different codices, right? So there was an Ubay one, no, Abdullah no. ibn Masood one. So he there had was the, the so, one under Hafsa's pillar. No, no, no. no. So, he, so, he, so he, the one under Hafsa's, uh, the one under uh, Hafsa radiallahu anha, the pillow that, that, that was there. Right. But Umar, but what did he, what, what did Uthman do? He he formed a committee. Yeah. He had the reciters, yeah. the the or the the the, the uh, people who memorized the Quran, yeah. the memorizers, yeah. and those who'd written it down. And there had to be two witnesses mm. to every text mm. confirmed by the memorizers. And when the Quran was then compiled, it was compared to the one under the pillow of Hafsa. Mm. And it was collaborate and the companions all agreed, including the hundreds of memorizers, Can that this was that? the Quran as it was revealed to the Prophet Muhammad. Peace be upon him. Now, the important thing here is this. Can I just no, no, the right. Before you do that, okay. right? Mm. How many years after the Prophet, peace be upon him, passed away? Was this committee formed? 20 years. Within 20 years? I'm oh, sorry, uh, Muhammad died in 632, the committee was in 652. Within 20 years, yeah. right? So whilst those memorizers were still alive, mm. okay, yeah. this committee was formed. Yeah. While the text, written text, the parchments uh, uh, were around, yeah. this committee was formed. And the companions unanimously agreed that this Quran they didn't agree is the Quran. Absolutely, they agreed. Ab Abdullah ibn Masud disagrees. There's even hadith that says he disagreed. There's a hadith. What right? was the disagreement? The disagreement was the fact that he did not take all that he recites. No, 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 what, no, no, no. Be let specific. Me, what was the disagreement? Let me let me give you a hadith. What was the disagreement? There is a Sahih hadith where Abdullah ibn Masud is said to be upset because Uthman did not take all that he recited and heard from the Prophet. And he's critiquing Zayd bin Tabit, who was the main uh, scribe, the person who went around collating. That, I don't think that hadith right. is even uh, a sahih. That is sahih. Yeah. Do you want but, to prove uh, it? Yeah, please do. Okay. But also, uh, the claim that you've just made here, what was his contention? His contention was that there are things that he was he heard from the Prophet that were not included. No. What, what, was, so it, what, was, what was his contention? Exactly that, what no. you just said. No, no. His contention was Surah Fatiha. 
He wanted. It he, could have been that. In his so codex. He, so he had Surah Fatiha. In, Fatiha in his codex. Yeah. Surah, 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 surah 1, Surah Fatiha. Yeah, yeah. That, he that wanted that included before every Surah. Uh, that was one of his contentions, right? Well, no. And he, the reason, said, and the reason why, and the reason why he said that, yeah. was because we read Surah Fatiha before every surah when we recite when we recite the uh, 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 the obligatory uh, portions of the Quran in our prayers. So, if in every rakah, in every kneel of the prayer, we read Surah Fatiha. So that was a contention. And by the way, the. Upon dying, did Ibn Masud ever argue upon dying that this was not the Quran? No. He was in agreement that this was the Quran as no, it was revealed. No, it was not. Because how many surahs did Abdullah Ibn Masud's codex have? Ibn Masud, the three last surahs of the Quran, right. that amount to around 12 or 14 ayahs. Right. Because these were regarded as a supplication at dua as well that was made. And he felt that they were not to be included in the Quran. Yep, exactly. but, that, but that's not the point though. So these are 12, 12 verses, right. 12 or 13 verses, yep. out of over, uh, over 6,000 uh, 6, verses. And he was reciting them. And before he passed away, he was in agreement that this Quran was the Quran as it was revealed by the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hmm. Now the question that I ask you is this, if your claim is that there were different readings, and that they don't go back to Allah. They don't go back to God Almighty. If your claim is that when the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, uh, 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 revealed the wahi that he received, the Quran that he received to the people, and they did not preserve it. If that's your claim, then on balance of probability, you need to show me how 95% of the world reads uh, uh, Hafs al-Asim. Mm. And a five-year-old, a three-year-old, even if he's blind, mm. he can correct an imam. Mm from a different global uh, location, whether it's America or whether it's Egypt, he can correct him even if he mis makes a mistake of a vowel. Mm. Now you need to show me the mechanism of the, how that can happen, unless it's preservation. Now, the, the, you know what the amazing thing here is this? If you look at that first banner there, that first banner there, quite, respect, you've been quite, for a bit, quite eloquently, I, I think, yeah. and quite beautifully mm. suggests that even amongst non-Muslim e experts, who studied the manuscript evidence, studied the history, that they claim it was a fixed text and a preserved text. In fact, Angelica Neuwith, one of the most foremost experts okay. in Germany, in she says yeah. that, the, that, the, that the mass of, of manuscripts that are found, mm. far from disproving preservation, mm. have only confirmed it. Okay, well, that's not true at all in scholarship. So, for example, um, I just told you about the, a scholar. Huh? Yeah, okay, I just fine. told you about a scholar. Very right, renowned, okay, okay. world Jeffrey, famous. Um, Arthur Jeffrey in the 50s knew there were variants in Al-Fatiha to go back to Ibn Masud. Like, there we go. Okay. <laughs> it's, not, it's not difficult for me okay. to know this. Okay, okay uh, I can quote other scholars that did as well. Dr. Yeah. Daniel Brubaker, he knows about okay. it as well. D Dr. Daniel, uh, Daniel Brubaker. Nasser, I think, or, uh, okay. Uh, where is that? Okay. He also says there are variants. Okay. Right. Everyone knows there are Okay. Right. But in your actual traditions, yes. it talks about this. Okay. The interesting thing is, is that today, Muslims take a more conservative view of their scripture than the early Muslims, the, uh, the Sahaba, did of them, themselves. That's your opinion? Well, no, it, you, there, is wrong. there is Sahih Hadith, where Ibn Masud says, um, they do not take everything that I recite. Um, by the, what is it? Um, it's something like, I had memorized 70 surahs by the time before Zayd bin Tabi was even born. Mm. And who, who did Muhammad say was one of the master reciters of the Quran? Okay, you, you, you're, you're, raising, you're raising multiple points there, right? Okay, so yeah, you, the you, first point you was made many points before. Yeah, right? the first point was you said you've right. quoted academics, apparent academics, who are saying <laughs> that the Quran. Well, I say apparent. I'll tell you why yeah. apparent. Mm. Well, first of all, his his notion of the in the fifties, yeah. many of the Sana manuscripts are have been recently discovered. Right, you know that they have a so, column test and they are different from what we no, read no, today. Hold yeah. on a second. Okay, there are thousands of manuscripts that were found in Sana. Mm. And that have been digitalized yeah, the Sana manuscripts. recently. Yeah. So he was not even privy to that information. That's the first thing. Sure, but the Sana manuscripts. Hold on a second. Okay, you're making, no, no, you no, just no, made no. a point. You just hold, made a point. Hold on a second. You just made a point. No, 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 but I'm, I'm going through your uh, academia that you've raised. To say about that. You can do. You can re re okay. refer back to me. You, see, you're, you're you, you raised the point of Brubaker. Right. Yes, that's another one. Yeah. Brubaker's work has been widely, widely criticized. Okay, why? Because his methodology. Mm even as a lay person, mm. was highly dubious. You're aware I'll that... Give, hold on a second before okay, you go yeah, on. You won't let me make No, 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 hold, hold okay. on a second. 
Now, for the brothers and sisters who are watching the video, Brother Mansoor, mm -hmm. uh, Brother Farid, mm -hmm. and Brother Ijaz, mm -hmm. they wrote a 300-page rebuttal of the sham that Brubaker provided in his work. Right, right. Brubaker's work is about 150 pages. They did, mashallah, a rebuttal of 300 pages, mm -hmm. providing evidence mm -hmm as to why his methodology is dubious. What did Brubaker and his find? No, no, hold on a second, hold on a second. So you're not making me make a point. I'm going to make the point. On. I'm going to make the point. you got to summarize yourself quickly. Where Brubaker's methodology falls apart right. is he claims in his own book, he didn't have the time right. to go to multiple sources mm -hmm. to collaborate what he's saying. So he found some variance. That's some, not what he Hold on a second. He found some variation right. somewhere where there could have yeah. been scribal errors. Yeah, there was, and he's demonstrated. And he, he literally prints it off. Right? And he attributed that yeah. to the corruption of the Quran. Right. So he now, found. Uh, wait, 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 wait. No, no. You, you have made many points. I haven't there. finished that point. No, yeah, but you've, you've no, said no, no. things I am challenging. I haven't. So let me I haven't it, finished the full. You can I haven't what finished I'm the full point of no, Brubaker. No, you, you keep making more. And you, more no, points. I'm just making let it about Brubaker. I'm going to speak now. No, no, no. You've been speaking for a long time. No, I'm going to explain to you about what Brubaker actually found. Chris, you're not being fair. No, you're not. Chris, you're not being fair because I let you speak for a long time. Once I give you, and I disagree with what you're saying. Once I give you. Yep, it's Where, a dialogue. Once I give you, look, yep. if you tell me, if you ask me a question yep. and you mention Brubaker, right. I can't give you a yes or a no you answer. You simply need to say, no, no, no. His methodology, it's not valid. No, no, and no, 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 no. I have to give you, giving a speech. I have to give you the reasons why his methodology is right. weak. You gave me one. Now I haven't, I'm going to reply. I haven't, I haven't completed said, my answer. You, you, you I haven't completed my answer, even Chris. Right. Chris, I'll give you five minutes afterwards if you want five minutes. Okay, okay. But I'm going to finish my point. All right then. Okay. Then. So the first thing is, he says he didn't have time to go through the multiple manuscripts. Okay. When you do critical critical scholarship on textual criticism, there are certain criteria that you must follow in order to have fairness and robustness of your work. So if you find errors, how do you distinguish? between a scribal error and a genuine corruption. So what you would do is you would look at other manuscripts. You would look at other manuscripts at that time that would either confirm or contradict your theory. He didn't do that. You would look at manuscripts that appear before to see if they contradict your theory or they confirm your theory. He didn't do that. And you look for manuscripts that appear directly after that have those verses in, okay? And that whether they confirm or contradict your theory. He didn't do that. But what Brother Mansur and Brother Hashim quite eloquently with Brother Farid did is they show you multiple manuscripts that actually have the verses that he's claiming are missing. So his methodology is weak. And being a Christian himself, he has a dog in the race. And clearly he's shown his dog. Now I let you come back. Okay, first of all, uh, Mansour is a Muslim, so clearly he has a, a dog in the right fair race as well. It makes no difference. The point is, is all I want to demonstrate is that there is variance. There is variance found in the Sarnia manuscript. The Sarnia, man Sarnia manuscript is a palimpsest, which means it has an underneath layer that was written over at a later point. The underneath layer does not conform with the Hass text today. The over layer does to a much higher extent. All I wanted to use is to point, by Dr., uh, point to Dr. Uh, Daniel Brubaker's work to simply uh, illustrate that there are variants. I don't care about what he drives on that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm merely saying Daniel Brubaker has demonstrated there are variants. He prints them out and he shows you in Arabic. And he says, this has changed from this to this. That's all he does, right? That was my point. And you haven't addressed that. Okay, so how can a variant occur? If you find in a manuscript something that differs from the current understood Quran, from the Hafs, for example. No, how? Which Quran you take. No, how does it appear? How can it appear? In the written text, different Arabic. How, how can what what facilitates that? How, how can it, how can it happen? How do you mean? So, for example, you said oh, okay. you're something. You're saying something is rubbed off, right. and something yeah. is written over it, yeah, right? How how can that happen? So, a later author comes around or scribe, and he actually changes the text. Right. So he illustrates there are different kinds of these, right? So some are in in the manuscripts have been rubbed out and written over. Some have been just completely erased, and sometimes have been like additions added slightly. And there are different types that you okay. can find, right? So one now, way is direct corruption, right. somebody right, right, right. deliberately doing that. What's the other way that can happen? You can say it's a scribal error. Yes. Which is fine. Yes. Either way, yes. I'm happy with that. Yeah. You're, you're happy with both what, of what them? I'm, yes. What I'm illustrating is okay. merely that there are variants. Okay. I don't need to explain why they are. 
that's not anyway. Well, that's, my that's a ridiculous argument. No, no, my argument is simple. No, no, it's ridiculous. Wait, 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 wait,
the recitation came in seven different modes, right? That weren't just dialects, as I demonstrated earlier. Now, what happened to those Aruf? Where are they? Tell me where they are today. Can any Muslim right. tell me where they we, are? We have people. Can you, can you we, tell me where they are? We, can you tell we, me we, where we, all the different modes we have, are for we, every different Hold on a second. Before we ask oh, another oh, question. No, no, no. Okay, no, no. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll you're asking, you're, you're, shot, you're shotgunning now, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. The, 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 the question that I asked you, which was a very important question right at the end, was what is our primary source of preservation? Can you answer that question? Okay, sure. So he's going to make the argument that the primary Forget source Forget what I'm going to make the wait, argument. Wait, wait, I'm answering you. you. Answer I'm the answering you. The you primary answer the source for what he believes is that it comes from an oral tradition, right? Fair enough. But the oral tradition eventually becomes a written tradition. You have to write it down at some point, and how you write it down depends on what you're saying. What happens when different Muslims living in different areas say different things? What happens? It gets written down differently, guys. Has it been? Common set, yes. Has it been? Ubay ibn okay, Kab, one of the I'll master know. reciters Wait, of the Quran according to Muhammad himself, according to your hadith. He had 116 surahs in his hadith. Musaf. Yeah. What? There's only 114 uh, surahs in today's Quran. Why did he have two extra? Abdullah ibn Masud, he had 111. Why did he have 111? Because he had, he disagreed. Wait, wait, I'm not debating you. Because he, he had a different understanding of what was Quran and what wasn't. This had to be rectified, and it was in the Uthmanic recension. This is why it makes no sense, according to your own resources, according to the Sahaba, they never had this view. They never had the view that there was one perfect Quran and it's never been changed whatsoever. No, no, they understood they did, they did. that there were ongoing <laughs> debates within the Muslim community about what the Quran was, and how do they understand this? And this is why, later on, you have people like Ibn, uh, Ibn uh, Mujahid, who said yeah, there are the seven Qur'at, which brother, is please, different from brother, the Aruf. Yeah, Qur'at is not Aruf. And it's, they all go back to Muhammad and it's all okay. In other words, yeah, there were all these different Qur'ans, but they all go back to Muhammad, so it's fine. Okay, so, okay, okay. So the question that I asked him was, what is the primary way that Muslims preserve the Qur'an? And he said, five seconds, 10 seconds. This is what he's gonna claim. And then he went into a long speech about this Sahaba didn't agree, that Sahaba didn't agree, or know, whatever. I'm okay, okay. You now. The reality is, the reality is that the oral tradition is the tradition that is our primary source. Now, did Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, compile the Quran in his lifetime? No, why didn't he do that? Because it wasn't the primary source. If it was important that it had to be written down, wouldn't the Prophet Muhammad instruct the companion, write it and compile the book right in front of me? But he didn't do that, why? Because the Quran, the very word means that which is recited. And the Sahaba, the companions, they memorized the Quran and they agreed. Differently. They agreed with the Uthmanic Quran that this no, is no, the Quran that goes back to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Now, if his claim, if his claim, if his claim is correct, that there's all these disagreements, that all oh, the oral tradition wasn't fixed, or that all oh, there were multiple Qurans, then how? Explain to me the mechanism of how today. Even what? when there was only a handful of verses or chapters that were revealed and people traveled to the corners of the earth. So people traveled to Abyssinia, people traveled to China or to India, to Pakistan. They didn't even have the whole Quran at the time. And yet even to, throughout history, they Today, never disagreed with Quran. what they'd memorized and what had been passed down. Okay. So now the, the problem that he has is this, he has to demonstrate Look, you can give out names. Oh, this person said this, this person said yeah. that. But that does not change what mechanism has to arise that allows one unified reading globally, okay? One book that everybody agrees. And what the Isna when you talk about Isnad, we have every name. We have every name of the scholars, their, 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 their scholars, their scholars, who their children were, where, where they lived, where they learned, who they learned from, right the way back up to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We have multiple chains. And one of the great evidences for us is that when you go anywhere in the world and people pr produce their isnad, the last names, the last level may be different because they're different scholars, yes? But as the names go up, they cross over and they go right back to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. You don't have that in Christianity. What you have, now look, this is the example I want to give you. Today, you have one unified reading of the Quran globally. How many readings of the Bible do you have? Many. Which Bible anyway? How, which Bible? That's not How true. many books? How many verses? What verses should be in? What verses should be out? Okay, now, that, that is the greatest evidence against the Bible and its preservation. 
because you have multiple readings. People don't even agree on the number of books or the number of verses. And that is what happens when you don't have a fixed text. I want to come in. Now, I have raised experts here. So, like. Experts. No, no, no. Your experts Dr. have been. Not only. Brew Baker has been debunked. Arthur, Jeff, Arthur Jeffrey. Arthur in the 50s. Yeah, sure. Okay. Did he not find a, a, a variance in the Fatihah? Are there tens of thousands of manuscripts that have appeared after the 50s? Tens of thousands. Thousands of them. That go back to the first century. Thousands of manuscripts. Not, yeah, Are yeah, there thousands they go, they go, of manuscripts? Yeah, but they go back. So like if there were thousands of well. manuscripts that he was not privy to, and he comes up with a conclusion based on a handful of the, what he has, then clearly you have to go to modern people who have had right. the exposure okay. of, of, of thousands of more manuscripts. Right. So Arthur okay. Jeffrey actually went and actually did on-ground research, right? He actually talked to Muslims and found communities that had a variant in al fatiha they were reciting it slightly differently. And this is a well-known variant in the Qur'at. Again, he keeps having this uh, illusion no, no, that no, the Qur'an no. is one. It's not, it's no, 10 no, at the no, very no, least, it's 10. No, I mean, <laughs> but again, he keeps saying it doesn't matter. And he then says, but look, there are so many different Bibles. This is, and he says, but they, they don't even agree on how many books there are. I literally told him moments ago that Ubay ibn Kabir 116 surahs, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud 111. He's not bothered by that. Uthman said, no, 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 we'll make it 114. He just, he just he's not bothered. That's he does not, not care. That, that's nonsense. But when it comes to the Bible, all of a sudden it's a big issue. That's nonsense. It's a big issue because he knows that means there are variants. And he's terrified of it because the Christians never said, the Christians uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm never said that our text, whoa, whoa, whoa. The, the Christians <laughs> never said our text <laughs> is in an eternal tablet in heaven. Christians have never said that. We know that our scripture comes from the Jesus Christ and those who saw him, witnessed him, and those who wrote down their testimony, inspired by the Holy Spirit, but written by man. But in Islam, you, have that, you don't have that concept. It has to go back to this eternal tablet. But which Quran? Which Qur'an? Is it the Hafs? Is it the Bush? Is it Al-Dhuri? Which one is it? This one. How do you know? Are you finished? Let's, let me do. give you an example. Let me, let me let me quote what scholars, Islamic scholars okay. say. Because it's important to know what scholars are saying about your Quran. This is what Fidel Soliman of the Bridges Foundation says. Okay. Who, who's that person? Who's that? Your page. What's his qualification? He, he, did a, he did a translation of the, uh, the Arabic what's his, what's Quran. His, what's his qualification? He has a team of experts in translating the Quran. What's his, what's his qualification? He's an expert in Quran. What, what's his qualification? He's an expert in Quran. Yeah, that's not a qualification. That's your opinion. Don't no. talk to him. Don't what's, his, what's his qualification? All right, so he's denouncing all the Islamic no. foundations. No, anyway, no, no. let me quote have, from one. I'm asking you for his right, qualification. Let me quote from one. It's a valid, right. a valid question. Okay. About his book that he wrote, which is called uh, The Ten Qira'at of the Noble Quran, he says, It is the first translation which includes the Ten Qira'at, the modes of recitation. The main text is written in accordance with the most commonly used Qira'at, that of Assam, narrated by Hafs. Variations, and here's the key point. Variations from that are represented in the footnotes. Ooh. The translation represents about 30% of the variations of the Qur'at, those which affect the meaning and can therefore be demonstrated. In other words, 30% of the different readings of different 10 Qur'at are different words. Oh no! Okay, okay. Oh no! Let me give you an example. Have you finished? Let me give you an example. How many How many examples? Let me give you an example. Let me give you an example. Al Fatiha has no id in the 50s by Arthur Jeffrey. Rubbish. Who, rubbish, right, okay. Let him finish. Let him finish. So let me say. So there's. Let me, finish. Let me quote a part of Al Fatiha. All praise be to Allah, Lord of all realms, the merciful, the bestower of mercy, master of the day of recompense. And it actually has it in red because it tells you that in certain other Qiraat, it's not master, it's king of the day of recompense, or owner. So there are different words so a king from the different Qira'at of, of the Qur'an. Now, now, how do Muslims reconcile this? They don't say one is correct and one is, one is false. They don't say one is correct and one is false. They say both are correct. In other words, you can recite it with one word, or you can recite it with a different word. Now, there are, in this case, you could say, fine, it's both. It's both a king and an owner and a master. It doesn't matter. But there are also other parts of the Qur'an that where the Qira'at has contradictory uh, uh, meanings in the words. So for example, yeah. in Surah 85, there is different Qira'at that one that says that Allah is the glorious possessor of the throne, and one that says that Allah is the possessor of a glorious throne. Those are two separate things. They can't both be true, it's either one or the other. Name finish. You finished? Challenge that, challenge that. Okay. Do the challenge that. Now, Tell me how now, that's not now, just what, what, tank what Chris is doing. What Chris is doing, is a regular tactic called shotgunning. Yes. I asked him, 
a simple question earlier which he didn't answer. What was he, that? He is claiming... What did I not answer? He, I'm giving... I'm, relax, Chris, yeah, I relax. Know, I will let you know. Okay, okay. Just hold on, be right, patient. Right, let, me, let, me, let me build up to it. Yes. Right. Gonna be quicker let me build up. Relax, relax, yeah. relax, dude, relax, mm. right? So I asked him a very simple question. Chris's claim, again, is that there is mass corruption, Mass no, that's, that's oh, Chris, Have I ever said that? Crack, Have I Chris, ever said relax, that? Chris. Let me finish. Yeah, but you're not representing Chris, me. Chris, Chris, relax. I didn't interrupt you. Learn, learn. Because that's the inference from what you're saying. What you're saying is there's lots of corruption. You're saying there's lots of changes. You're saying it's not a fixed text. Can I just clarify? No, no, let Chris, you can't. No. I can't clarify. You were saying many wrong things let and I didn't clarify to, you. to attack a position I Chris, never said. Chris, you said many wrong things and let I didn't clarify. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. you're not going to interrupt me, Chris. No, that's not No, me. Chris, no, no, Chris, no. Chris, you're not going to interrupt me. I am not saying there's mass corruption. I'm saying it's not perfectly preserved. Chris, which means corruption. Does it, that's, that's that's Does it mean mass corruption? That's inference. Does it mean mass corruption? It means corruption. Yeah, you could say there are variant. If variant means corruption, corruption to you, right. are you using it as a Please don't interrupt me again. I, don't don't interrupt talk, me if again. If you talk about what I said, no. you have to represent me honestly. You did the same to me and I didn't interrupt you. Have I represented yes, you fairly? Yes, and, I, I, and I didn't I have, interrupt good, you. Good, I have so, represented you. So, so, so when I speak, so represent so me when fairly. I speak, when I speak, represent me please be silent and offer me the same respect that I offered you. Then represent right. me fairly. Oh, you offered me the same respect that I offered you because you were saying many wrong then things. represent me fairly. You didn't you do understand? the same to me and I didn't correct Wait, you. Really? What, I let, what did I, I say let you then? finish. What did I, I say let then? you finish. Didn't represent I'm not going to get into this, Chris. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say what I'm going to say. He doesn't have much to say. Chris's claim <laughs> of course. is that the early companions didn't agree what the Quran was. That's true. From Chris's claim is that it's not a preserved text. That's true. Chris's Obviously, claim that even Fatiha is different, read, read differently yes, and people don't agree. So I asked Chris, Chris I asked Chris, yeah. I asked Chris, from a layman's perspective, yeah. right, from a layman's perspective, yeah. what mechanism, what mechanism must you have to have a global unified reading, especially in areas like, for example, if you go to some of the North, uh, the African countries, if you go to some of the African countries where they still can't afford the Mus'haf, they don't have enough Qur'ans to go around. So how are they teaching Quran? the Qur'an? How are they teaching the Qur'an? The Imam will write the verses on the chalkboard. Does he write it in half? He writes on the chalkboard. Wait, how does he write it? Don't interrupt me, Chris. Don't be rude. You're, you're just you're waffling. Being rude. You're waffling. You're being rude. How does this relate to what I'm You're being rude. I know he's getting uncomfortable, but you've got to be patient. I think this is done. Don't be rude. Don't you be, address, if you want to walk away, if you want to walk away, you can walk away. Address my point. You you have to let me. Address my point. You have to let me. Yes, but you have to. You have. You have. I am addressing it. You're just talking I'm, I'm, about. What I'm addressing. No, I'm addressing it. Reads. I'm addressing That's it. Not. Look, I agree. I disagree with a lot of your notions. Okay, I okay, hold on a them. second. Hold challenge on. them. Hold on a second. I disagree with you because Ibn Masud, for example, didn't okay. die believing that the Quran was incomplete. He never, he never said that this is not the Quran for Prophet Muhammad, peace be on him. So your claim is false. No, but I'm not going to get into say, that. What? No, no, Chris, I haven't finished. Chris, I haven't finished. Chris, I haven't finished. I haven't finished, right? Now, I asked Chris, what is the mechanism where you have one unified reading Despite there not even being Mus'haf, the actual Quran available. But there isn't one and reading, there's 10. it being taught there, directly there by oh, oral tradition. Of which reading? And which reading? I have the experience firsthand. You go to a masjid in, in, in London or in Kenya or in Saudi Arabia. If the imam makes a mistake, person from Brazil or from Argentina if they share the or same from reading, Italy yeah. will yeah. correct him even if he makes a mistake of a vowel. If they're all reading half, now, yeah, they can do that. What that tells what you is this. Is reading Walsh. What that tells you is this. If a three-year-old today, and by the way, you can go on YouTube and check it out yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five-year-old, three-year-old, six-year-old. You know, that's how his argument six year old. is. Look at all these Even kids who can memorize Chris, the Quran. How Chris, great is it? Don't interrupt. You're being rude. But now. no, no, no. You're not no, addressing my point. I don't care, point. Chris. Not, I don't care. I don't care. You're not addressing my I don't point. I don't care. Okay, so first of all, no, no, I don't care. How many no, 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 no. How many readings? I don't I care. There was? Either you let me speak or walk away. How many readings? Either you let me talk or you walk away. Because you said there's one reading. Either you let me talk or you walk away. As the address, what I've said. I said to you before we started this discussion because I know how you work. When things get uncomfortable. You just start interjecting all the time. You just start talking about. You do that with everybody. Nothing else. You won't do that with me. 